Hi, my name is Zeri Franz, and we are going to see today how to place multiple video on the same screen. So this is our video pad project, and we have three videos here, and let's do it. Okay, let's drag and drop our background, our first video, to the video track number one. Second video to the video track number two and third video track number three. Now we have three videos, each of them has its own sound and duration. By the way, video one, which is background, has no sound, it's okay. So, but two sounds at the same time is not good, so we have to choose one of them and to leave it, another one to you have to detach and to delete. So, audio track three, this is the sound of our video number three. Let's delete it. Click on it. Right now, right click, choose unlink from video. Now again, right click and delete. Okay, one sound is good. <laughs> now let's see those videos. Um, the background has to be like it is, but two others we have to change their size because nothing is visible except on them and if you want to change their place on the screen. So, this is the first one, the board. Let's click on it and now go to video effect. You can go to video effects only after your video is on your video track. So click add new video effect. Let's choose, not position, but let's choose scale. Oh, scale effect. Now you see the horizontal and vertical ratio. Click on slider and slide it left. And you see our window is smaller. It's too small maybe, let's do it bigger. Like that is okay. And now click the cross and you'll get new effects and let's choose position. Let's move it, for example, on this corner of our screen. You can change slider here, but I would prefer to do it like that. Click, click on your video and move it. Okay, maybe a little bit more. It's okay. Now, close the window. Uh -huh. You see, this is okay. Now the next one, video number two. On a video track number two. Click on it, choose video effect, add new effect, the same scale. Example like this, even smaller. Yeah. And position. Yeah, I think it's okay. Let's see how it will be. Okay. Close video effect window. Now, we have only one sound and three videos at the same time on our screen. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. But we have different durations. For example, you want to make it make your videos to start the same time and to end the same time. They are starting now the same time. So, for example, you have to make this video on video track number three to be longer. You have to change the speed of this video. So, click on it, go to video effects again, add effects and choose speed change. Now, the speed like this is 100%. By changing the percentage, you're changing the speed. And you will see here the duration. Now it's 12 seconds and 
but it has to be something like 14, almost 15 seconds. Let's do it, for example, 80% speed, click set. Mm -hmm. Now it's a little bit longer than our background. Okay, let's try, for example, not 80, but speed change, like 85%. Uh huh. Now it's shorter. Okay, let's undo our last action, and uh, you just go to the end of the video, left click and drag it until the duration of video track one, which is our background. Okay. Oh no, it's too long, too short. Wait a minute, slider. Yeah, it has to be like this. And the same with video track number two. Click on it, video effects. We already have two video effects. Let's add speed change. And it has to be changed a little bit. So let's do it like 95%. Oh, I'm sorry, 95. Set. Uh -huh. Now it's a little bit too long. Okay, let's do it shorter. Now all videos have the same length, duration. Let's see what happens. Go to our preview window and let's see. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Maybe let us move this video a little bit down. Go to video track number two. Number two, go to video effects position effect and uh, let's see now I think it's okay yeah it will be okay close this window now it's better okay I think it works and there are much more stuff we can do using our video effects but let's see it later thank you for staying with me bye